Hello there, and how's it going? Uh, the other day I showed off a load of my William Hartnell Doctor Who DVDs. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, the second Doctor, Patrick Trout, and all the DVDs and videos I have of his adventures. So um, I'm going to kick off now with uh, by showing you the Lost in Time DVD once again. This has got all episodes from William Hartnell and Patrick Trout and various adventures which are not complete unfortunately. Um, you've got episodes from William Hartnell such as The Crusade, episodes 1 and 3, The Daleks Master Plan, episodes 2, 5 and 10 and The Celestial Toy Maker episode 4. I've, I thought I'd just mention that now because I didn't mention that on the last video. Uh, we'll go on to Patrick Troughton now. Um, his first adventure was uh, Power of the Daleks, and unfortunately, this one doesn't exist. There's no episodes at all. There's only various clips. It's a real shame because it's one of his one of his great adventures, and why the BBC had to destroy a lot of these. Doctor Who's is beyond me. I think it was because, you know, the vaults were getting too clogged up with film and that, and a lot, they thought a lot of it weren't going to be used anymore, so they ended up destroying or wiping the tape. So, but um, yeah, you've, you've got that one, Power of the Daleks. It's keen to know that um, there's absolutely no footage of him wearing his stovepipe hat because uh, he wears it. He wears it in. Power of the Daleks and also to the next two adventures but the only clip I've actually seen was a rough 8mm film of him putting his stovepipe hat on but then it cuts. I've never seen any footage like that before so it would just be amazing if, if this Doctor, particular Doctor Who was discovered and it's got an absolute classic storyline to it as well. Um, it's worth checking out. It's worth checking out the like the telly snaps and the soundtrack to the, the adventure. So, but then um, I'm going to go on to the next one, uh, the Highlanders. Again, sadly, this doesn't exist. There's no episodes. Just, I think there's only one clip or a couple of clips what exist, and that was uh, the first appearance of um, Jamie in Doctor Who. Uh, but again, it's very sad it doesn't exist, and if only they one day find all these Doctor Who's which are destroyed. But um, I'll press on now. Um, there has been, an, there has been, fortunately, an episode which has been discovered, um, Underwater Menace, episode two. Um, I don't have that at the moment. I'm not too sure when that's going to be released, but I can't wait for it to be released. Um, but I will say I do have um, the underwater me uh, the underwater menace episode three, and that's on the Lost in Time box set. And then uh, episode four, unfortunately, doesn't exist neither. So right, um, next up was uh, the Moon Base which was uh, the second Cybermen story and uh, featured on this is episodes 2 and 4 which exist but then you've also got the soundtrack to episodes 1 and 3 so it's quite it's nice to have it like that but you know obviously it'd be great if it was all there but I keep saying that now don't I um, Right, press on now. Uh, the next adventure was the Maker of Terror. Unfortunately, another one which doesn't exist. The odd couple of clips. Um, then after that, it was a uh, six-part adventure called The Faceless Ones. And only two episodes of that one exist. And that's on the Lost in Time box set. Um, which episodes do exist? Episodes 1 and 3, 
from 1967, and that was the departure of uh, Ben and Polly, who first appeared in The Smug... No, not The Smugglers, The War Machines. I didn't actually mention that in the last video, though. But, um... Right, uh, this is the uh, final episode of the final adventure in the uh, Patrick Troughton season. I was thinking of season four, but I started off with uh, two William Hartnells and then went into, went into Patrick Troughton virtually straight away. But um, the last one was uh, Evil of the Daleks, episode two. Episode two, I know exists, but um, the whole adventure itself is seven episodes and there's only one episode surviving. It's a real shame because... I would probably consider that as one of Patrick Troughton's all-time greats. Jamie comes to the fore a lot more in the, in the adventure, and there's also a new companion introduced um, called Victoria Waterfield, who was uh, from the Victorian times, from the past. So. Um, it's a great shame that one doesn't exist. I would absolutely love to have that adventure, especially with the Dalek Emperor at the end of it. An amazing, powerful scene. Really great. But anyway, that's featured on Lost in Time as well, episode 2, Evil of the Daleks. Right, we now go on to the fifth season. And uh, this is a complete adventure. This was discovered years ago somewhere in the world I can't remember where somewhere silly like Saudi Arabia or something like that um, this is Tomb of the Cybermen and all four episodes were discovered this was a dead adventure years ago and it's a great adventure brilliant especially the first episode it reminds me of a, a B movie film type thing you know it's really great really good I do recommend that one and I've also got in the Revisitations 3 box set a special edition of Tomb of the Cybermen which, have, which has got um, loads of extras and all sorts of it. The, uh, the other one I showed you was uh, one of the first Doctor Who releases on DVD but I'm but unfortunately they never put on any extras there was only a couple of things like photos and and that so it's nice to have this it's got the uh, Sky Ray advert in the 60s advertising ice lollies and funny enough that's uh, that's uh, a take off from Patrick Troughton and the uh, guy who's who the who is the doctor in the advert is wearing a stovepipe hat, which is cool. So anyway, next adventure after that was um, the Abominable Snowman, and uh, this is another one. Unfortunately, doesn't exist. Abominable Snowman episode two is the only one which does exist as a complete adventure. I mean, but um. I've got my words a little bit mixed up there. I mean, um, The Abominable Snowmen was a six-part adventure, but only episode two exists, so I'll get there in the end. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, again, destroyed. But there we go. I think there was one Doctor Who which don't actually feature any music at all in it. I think the other one was The Highlanders, both Patrick Troughton's. Right, um, after that came the Ice Warriors. This is uh, the video of it, as the DVD isn't out yet. And this uh, contains the four episodes which exist, and the other two episodes are featured on a CD. And I'll show you this now. There's one of the videos, cardboard case. And also it's got an extra video all about the missing years, which is on the uh, Lost in Time box set. And there's also a booklet all about the Ice Warriors and when it was screened and all that, which is pretty good. It's got an ad advertising it on a Saturday afternoon. Quite a good book. 
But yeah, and then uh, it's also got the CD with uh, episodes two and three, which sadly don't exist. There we go. Um, right, the next adventure, I think, was the enemy of the world, and again, only episode three exists of this Doctor Who. And uh, it's keen to know that Patrick Troughton actually plays two parts in this one. He, well, obviously he plays the Doctor, but then he plays uh, the enemy in, in the adventure called uh, Salamander. And uh, it's a good performance, actually, uh, you know, because Patrick Troughton's Doctor, he, he comes across as very jolly and clown-type. You know, he's clown-like sort of things. But uh, as Salamander, he's, he's, he's evil, he's... He's totally the opposite. He reminds me of Hitler a little bit. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Let me press on now. The next one. Oh, still off the Lost in Time box set. This is uh, the Web of Fear. Um, again, another adventure where sadly only one episode exists. Episode one. Another one which is a bit similar to episode one of uh, Tomb of the Sidemen, reminds me of a film. Um, this is set in the London Underground, uh, with uh, the return of the Yeti, who was originally in the abominable, the abominable snowman. I'll get my words right with that. Bit of a tongue tie. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a classic adventure. It's the very first one to uh, feature uh, Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart, who's uh, Started off as Colonel, he, he was Colonel in the Web of Fear, and then he uh, ended up becoming Brigadier in the next adventure he was in. So yeah, um, after the Web of Fear came uh, the Wheel in Space, which was the fourth Cybermen story, and uh, this introduces uh, another companion, Zoe Harriet. Um, it's a good, good adventure actually. There's two episodes which exist out of six, three and six. So a lot of good sounds in, a lot of good sound effects. And uh, it's a real shame again that only three and six exist. Why they had to do that, I don't know. BBC are mad for that. But anyway. Um, the last adventure in that season was uh, The Fury from the Deep, and this is one which I think possibly I'd want to exist more than any of the others. I don't know, Power of the Daleks, Daleks Master Plan, and that one, I'd love to see it, and Evil of the Daleks as well. A great shame as it's very, it's a very horror type like Patrick Trout adventure and there's one clip which exists and you should check it out on YouTube if it's on there. It's um, a scene where this lady is, is, it, is she's, I think she's in her house or something and these two guys come in, Mr Quill and, I can't remember the other guy's name but the way they end up attacking her is really strange and it's possibly considered one of the scariest moments in Doctor Who. It's, oh, I'm not going to so, say too much about it, but check it out. Um, Fury from the Deep, the adventure's called. I'm sure it'd be on YouTube anyway. But uh, Right. I'm not too sure, but I think Fury from the Deep came before the Wheel in Space, because that was when Victoria left. So, yeah, after the Web of Fear was Fury from the Deep, and then the Wheel in Space came afterwards. So then after that um, was the uh, fifth season of Doctor Who, and that starts off with The Dominators. This is the video of it, which I've had for many, many years. And then I've also got the DVD as well. This is a five-part adventure. And this introduces the quarks. Um, this one is 
mind robber and this is one of my uh, favourite Patrick Troutons which exist a really good one set in a dream world this one is all about dreams and phantoms and so there's, there's all sorts of weird things going on in this one it's, it's a really good adventure though and it's, I well recommend it there's even a superhero in it called the carcass <laughs> there we go right the next well actually um, I forgot to show you this this is the mind robber video I've still got a label for a label on it because I was selling it so there we go right and this next one is an eight part adventure and this is called the invasion and this is the uh, final side of men Adventure for many years or for quite a few years. This is from 1968. This is uh, the first appearance of Unit, and this is where Lethbridge Stewart becomes the brig brigadier for the first time. A really great adventure. I'd say this was probably my favourite Cybermen adventure. really great great story with uh, Tobias Vaughan in it I'm trying to remember the actor's name no it's not coming to me but um, it's keen to know uh, also that episodes 1 and 4 were actually missing and they are still missing but um, what they've done is they've uh, added um, animation to it so you can now watch it as a complete adventure. It's really, really great. Now I'm trying to remember the guy's name, this guy here. And I can't think of who it is. That's it, Kevin Stoney. There we go. And that's all set in uh, London. You've got uh, St Paul's Cathedral and that in it as well. So there's a lot of uh, location filming in it. It's well worth checking out. Right, the next one. I'm going to shift on a bit quicker now because uh, I've got to get get on with uh, things. I'm quite busy today. Um, there we go. This is the Crotons. This hasn't been released yet on DVD. I am looking forward to it. It's a four-part adventure. Uh, next one is another Ice Warriors adventure. This is uh, The Seeds of Death. It's a really old video from 1985, would you believe? <laughs> there we go. And we've also got The Seeds of Death DVD. There is a special edition of this one, but um, I've yet to get that one. Yet to purchase it. Part adventure all there, great adventure. And then um, the one after that was uh, a six parter called The Space Pirates, and this was the last one which sadly only episode two exists. But um, that's also on the Lost in Time box set. I really do recommend this box set, by the way, if you if, if, if you're interested in like the un, you know the destroyed Doctor Who adventures and all that. There's a good documentary all about it on there, so worth checking out again. Right, and uh, we now come to the final adventure. This is a ten-part one, and fortunately, it all exists. And uh, this uh, uh, is the first appearance of the Time Lords. And Gallifrey as well, so there's quite a lot revealed in this one. This is called The War Games. And from the, at the start of the adventure, you think, oh, this is going to be another history one, but um, as you go on, it, you, you notice that it's not all like that at all. It's actually uh, it's all set in different times, but then it's mainly set in the future. 
But it's a real epic, this one, and again, I recommend it. And I also have three disc set of the War Games as well. This was the very last Patrick Troughton adventure. And there we go. So, that wraps another video. Um, I'd just like to thank uh, Strontva League number one for his uh, kind comments the other day, for his kind words. Um, yeah, nice one, thank you. <laughs> I'm a bit stuck for words, mate, but <laughs> oh, I haven't been up long. But uh, anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to be showing you off uh, next time with the Doctor Who DVDs, the third incarnation, which is John Pertwee. Um, I should be also doing a comics video as well, possibly tomorrow. So uh, I'll say take care now and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Cheers.